you want to be aware of the spacing and we have a we have a large floor we have dots on the floor we use spots on the floor to organize the class so all instructors you must get used to utilizing the space of the classroom don't group all the kids in one corner spread them out use the dots we have white dots and red dots so sometimes we'll just use all white dots depending on the size of the class or we'll use white and red dots depending on the size of a class. So make sure you spread the kids out this way. It's uh, aesthetically appealing this one. When somebody's standing in the, uh, in the lobby and looking on the floor, it looks like the whole floor is being utilized. And make sure when you line them up also, space it out so that it's aesthetically, uh, uh, you know, structured with respect to the size of the floor. So if you have three lines, it's, you know, you could do one line and then you skip a dot, do another line, so you alternate the dots. Or if you have six lines, then you have on each dot. So make sure you really be aware of how you line your students up and uh, how you put them on the spots for all the drills and all the exercises, whether we're doing basics or whether we're doing line drills, make sure you are aware of them. Also, as you're going through the class, be a step ahead of everyone. You have somebody doing the drill, when yet they're doing the drill, know that what's happening next, you do what's next. And all you need to do is look on our class plan and follow that class plan. It's so important that you utilize that class plan. Do your best not to bounce around. Now there's some flexibility there depending on the energy of the class and the flow of the class. However, you must train yourself to follow the structure of the class plan. And another thing I want to make sure that all instructors are